all so much for being here. This is so nice. It's such a special day. When we're surrounded by so much family. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So much family. Mm -hmm. We are starving. We did a fun run before we came today, didn't Ooh. we, hon? Fun run. Oh. Mm -hmm. Fun. The run, it was fun. He loved it. I believe I believe you. Yeah. That's when I noticed that it wasn't just Gwen who had made a strong food choice. It was all of Bo's family. Something wrong? You guys don't have any mac and cheese on your plates. Oh, you know, it's very rich, and we're trying to watch our calories and cholesterol. Really? Because burrata has much more fat than cheddar. Yeah, but it tastes very light. You should really try our beets. I would, but I see bringing beets to Easter as an act of aggression. I'll be break straight. Oh. Just... I'm sorry, I just don't see how you skip over mac and cheese for beets. I love beets. Don't beat up on beets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I give you that. That's a good one. Beets are very healthy. Well, food isn't about just health. Let's say someone you love died. What? what we... One of your dogs, maybe. Would you comfort yourself with a nice warm bowl of mac and cheese or a cold, slimy beet? My Clarence used to hate beets. He called them blood potatoes. Oh, never heard that before. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Maybe black and white people taste things differently. Maybe. I just don't eat soul food because of all the fat and salt. Is that all you think soul food is? Huh? Do you have any idea why we cook it the way that we do? Today, Dre will be cooking with pig intestines, weeds, ham hocks, pig's feet, lard, and hot water. Can that be right? Mm. Let's see what he can make for us with these tough ingredients. During slavery, black people were lucky if we got the worst parts of the pig, the toughest greens, or even leftover cornmeal. We also had to figure out how to make it taste good. So we used lard and tons of seasoning. And even now that we can afford better, we still like our food highly seasoned. There's a reason that Beyonce has hot sauce in her bag. So, I've made collard greens with ham hock, hot water cornbread, and fried chitterlings. Well, that actually looks amazing. You made this from those ingredients? Yes, I did. Dre, you've been chopped, but don't ever stop chasing your dreams. But this is a dream. And I don't know what to tell you. We took white people's garbage and we made it shine. That's why it hurts so much when you turn your nose up, because when you reject our food, you're rejecting us. Okay, this is crazy. Are you saying that my taste in food is racist? Is that what he's saying? No, I don't think so. That's not what he's saying. Because he said he's going to be so nice to my family. You're so, Does anybody want slaw? Do you want slaw? Do you want slaw, Dad? Is it so crazy for us to believe that after our people were on the bottom of this country for 400 years, that our stuff is seen as less than? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Preach, baby. Preach. Our stuff is never seen as acceptable until white people put their stamp on it. Dark skin was bad until white people saw how nice they looked with the tan. Black music was jungle music until Elvis stole it. And even our butts were too much until Kim Kardashian came along. Okay, I'll say it. Um, I've always thought black people are better, you know? And it's a wonder you don't rise up and kill all of us. <laughs> oh, I've tried. Oh. See? Gary gets it. I can't keep going around in circles with you, Dre. You see race in everything. Because it is in everything. With pretty much anything, I can draw a direct line to being black. It's my North Star. Which is why I know that if Rachel Ray started a soul food line and put it in the frozen section, you would buy it right up. You think you're the only one with a deep connection to food? Oh, is Brian talking? I cook beets because of my grandmother. When her family was hiding in the woods from the Nazis, beets were all they had. So when we were kids, she'd cook them for us and tell us stories of how she survived. Now I like making them for my kids so they can uh, remember. Oh. Okay. Maybe I'll try some.